Hi, I'm Albert Desperian, head women's volleyball coach at Golden West Community College in Huntington Beach, California for the past 21 seasons. In this time, we've won 16 California State Community College championships, including the past 11 consecutively. Today, we're going to be working on the basics of team defense. In team defense, we have some basic strategies. It's one, always be ready, always be in the right place, and try to make every single easy play, most of the moderate plays, and an occasional spectacular play. Today we're going to start with base position, then we'll move to defending the quick sets, then defending the outside front set, and then the back set. The first thing we're doing on team defense is our base position. What we're doing in a base position is we want all of our blockers at the net ready for the first ball. What we like to do as a normal rule to begin with is our right side blocker will start on the antenna with the left side hitter. Our middle blocker will start with the setter slightly to the left. And if there's a right side hitter, our left side blocker will start out with the outside, with the back side hitter. If there's not, and the setter's in the front row, the left side blocker will come in and start with the setter and help with our middle attacker. The next thing we will make sure, the first ball we need to defend is the ball, the overpass, or the, then the ball coming over being set over on two. Common error where people let that ball drop and it's simply a matter of being ready for it. We want our right side defender, defender starting about 13 feet deep, three or four feet inside from the court, and the same with our left back player, about 13 feet deep, three or four feet in. Our middle back is starting on the back line, maybe one step up, and ready for any ball that comes over deep. Okay, so now we're gonna look at the first ball. When it comes over on one, what happens? Okay, so this is a ball, why don't you stand in the middle of the court here. This is the ball that gets served and comes over on one. So you can see if you're not ready, there's going to be some confusion. Five. Okay, now the next ball is the second ball that comes over. So you're going to toss it when the setter stands there and sets it. I call this the JV dump because it should never work on any level besides the junior varsity high school level or not even there if the team will be ready for it. Okay, good. So we've now been ready. We've seen that we're now ready for the ball that comes over on one, the ball that comes over on two from a back row setter, and now we're going to work a little bit on versus the quick attack. When the setter from the other side sets a quick set to the middle blocker, this is what we would do. We're in our base position. We're in our base position, and if we could get, when the ball's set, if we could get a little deeper, that would be great. If not, we just hold our position. We have the blocker come up. So you're gonna stand on the box and hit, okay? She's going to come up. Our blocker's going to block it. Our off blocker's going to take a step off and get low. And our other off blocker's going to take a step off and get low. Both of the wing diggers stay down and the middle back stays deep. Maybe shades if we know the hitter's tendency to one side or the other. So it looks like this. Best defense is if we block it. Go, 
Okay, Taylor, don't draw, don't block now. Back up, just stay ready and go ahead and hit it a little bit. Okay. As we said to begin with, the first, our most important thing on defense is to get that first ball up in the air and give us a chance to get a swing at the ball. And as you can see, they do a pretty good job of going for the ball. We're trying to get it up in the air. Nothing real fancy. Just dig the ball up into the air and make sure we have a chance to be successful. So that would be versus the quick set in the middle. The next thing that would happen in the middle would be a higher set. Anything in the middle, higher set, we would call that a two set. We would defend like this. We have our base position here. If it's the middle blocker, middle hitter hitting, we want our left side coming over. Our left back moves up for the tip. Our middle back's going to move to that corner. And our right back is going to move back and dig the angle. And our right front is going to come off for a tip. What we'd say here, so basically we've got the two corners, two corners covered. We've got the off-speed shot covered. What we've given away is a straight ahead corridor in the middle and we're hoping our block blocks that. If not, and it goes over the block, we need our middle back to chase it down or our right back to chase it down. Okay, so it'll look like this. Okay, as you can see, we've got most of the court covered. The ball that we're most vulnerable, as in any defensive system, you're going to give some, something's going to be vulnerable. Our most vulnerable spot in this play is the middle over the block. We're trying to make sure our blocker gets that, and perhaps maybe this deep corner, and we're hoping that we're able to make that reaction. We've got the middle short covered pretty well. We've got the ball over there to the left corner covered pretty well. It's we're making them make a good play in order to beat us. Okay, the next set that we want to defend against would be the outside four set. Anything to the left side, we're now going to cover. We're once again in our base position. Our blocker starts out on the antenna. She, the key is, is first key is on any defense is the block. Our blocks adjust to wherever the hitter is. We want to start wide. We want her moving in depending on where the set is and she's going to set the block. Our middle blocker is going to come to her, our right side player, and our defense will react accordingly. Once the middle blocker, once the right side blocker sets the block, the middle tries to get there and will react this way. This is called, we'll run a basic perimeter defense. I'll show you another couple of defenses that we'll, we don't run necessarily, but that people do quite often. So our right side sets the block, our middle tries to get there. Our right back gets about 20 feet deep, right foot on the sideline. She is ready to defend the ball that's hit down the line. Our left back, gets to the sideline, perhaps a step in. She is lining up on the inside of the middle blocker's left hand. So if our middle blocker has her hand up, she's going to adjust 
to the inside of that left hand. Our left side blocker is, comes off the net, gets her right foot on the 10 foot line, and is ready for the hard angle. Our middle back stays deep. She lines herself up between the left hand of the right side blocker and the right hand of the middle blocker, and she's set, ready for any ball that's hit deep in the seam, any deflections off the top of the block, and any ball that's to either deep corner. So we need our middle back staying deep. She needs to be neutral in a ready position and chase anything down that's deep. We've got everything covered at this point. Our biggest vulnerability here, once again, is the middle over, and we'll show you how we get that in a second. Okay, let's get in a base position. We're going to always work on the court being balanced and we have everybody stopped and ready when the ball's hit. The biggest key here on that ball that's hit in the seam or the angle is we want our middle backer crossing deep parallel to the net and our left back crossing in front of her also parallel to the net of which we avoid all collisions, no confusion, both people go, and we'll play every single ball with a flawless move. Middle back goes behind, no collision. Okay. The other seam, the ball we would have as we get to our positions, is going to be the seam between the right back and the middle back. And once again, the right back is going in front parallel to the net, the middle back is going deep parallel to the net. Okay, so as we get to position, left back is on that angle, right back is back. Now the off-speed shot could pose a little bit of difficulty until we, get, until we get good at running this defense. So as we get to our positions, go. The key is who's going to pick up the tip and what we will do is we will read on that. If the right side blocker can hit down the line, excuse me, if the right side hitter can hit down the line, then we want our right back to come in down the line, ready for the tip. Okay, back. If, move it in Rachel, if the outside hitter can hit the line, the right back is going to stay deep and our left front is going to come in for the tip. Go ahead and let's see how that looks. So we're now going to have a couple where we're going to read and we're going to react off of where the block is set. Okay. 
Okay. As you can see, this is the toughest ball for us to get. A common adjustment that we would make is everybody else would do the same thing, go to your positions, and we would have our off blocker come in and cheat in for the tip. So if we're having trouble getting the ball that's in the middle, we would move our left front all the way over and get it for the tip, which leaves this shot, it covers the middle, it gives this, makes this shot more vulnerable. What, that, what basically our philosophy there would be, it's a tougher shot to hit that short one along the net than it is just to get it over the block in the middle. So let's take a couple and look how this goes. Okay, now what I've just shown you is a basic perimeter defense. We've made the adjustment of which we have taken our left front in in order to cover the middle short ball. Another common defense that people will run is called a rotation defense of which is a different philosophy towards covering it. Personally, I don't, pref I don't like it. People use it. I think you have to adjust your system to the personnel and what you're comfortable with. But in the rotation defense, the middle blocker would come over. The right back moves up in short for the tip or the off-speed shot. The middle back comes to this corner. The left back would go to that seam corner in. And the left front would come straight off and dig the angle. Okay. What this has done is we've taken away the middle of the court short. We've got somebody in the corner to dig the line, We've got somebody digging the cross court. The vulnerable spot in this defense is the off-speed shot that goes to the middle back or the ball on the seam that goes straight to the middle back. Okay, so let's take a little look how this would work. Okay, now you could, that works. The, the, the vulnerable spot here is the deep middle. So what happens here, go ahead and hit a couple off speed, to your favorite shot. Go ahead. Okay, so what a common adjustment in this defense is, go ahead and go into that spot is people, instead of having this person go to the middle, go to the line, we'll keep them here in the middle. So go ahead and go. Go, Chelsea, move up. Okay, you rotate, and people will give this corner away if they don't believe that the person on the other side of the net can hit the ball down the line. So that would be a rotation defense versus the four with the middle backs not going to the corner, maybe just cheating over about eight feet off. So let's look at that. Okay, now, let's, now we're going to take another look again at the perimeter defense with the ball set a little bit inside. So why don't you move the box in a little bit. So start there when she slaps it, Rachel, move in. 
Okay, so we're back in our basic defense, we're in our base position, and the blocker is going to adjust to the set. Okay, as with our basic philosophy, we want to make, try to get every ball up that we possibly can. We're going to cover all of the balls that we could possibly get to and make the play that's hit at us. We're going to try to get the medium, as you saw in the seam, where we cross and get the mediumly difficult ball most of the time, and occasionally we'll make a spectacular play, but it's solid, good, fundamental defense that we're looking for. Now next would be on the back set, which is a back high set that we're going to work. It would be the same fundamental defense, except obviously mirrored to the other side. Our middle block, our left side blocker sets the block on the ball. We want her setting it, adjusting to the set, and setting the block being solid. Our middle blocker will go over. Our left back moves back, and her left foot is on the line. She's about 20 feet deep, and she's stopped and ready when the ball's hit. Our right back here is going to get back on the line, or a foot in front side of the line. She is lined up inside the, mi the middle blocker's right hand, digging on the angle. Our middle back is going to line up between the left side blocker's right hand and the middle blocker's left hand on the back line, maybe a little bit in front. Our off blocker, or the right front, is going to come in about 10 feet. No, that's too much. Back a little bit. Down low and ready for the tip. And now we've got the basics of the cord covered. Okay, base. Okay, so as, as we've seen before, the ball in the seam, we want our wing digger going parallel, our middle back staying deep and going parallel on the cross court angle. Okay, the same thing would be true on the down the line angle. So the ball between to the right of to the right of the left back, to the left of the middle back, the left back is coming in front, the middle back is cutting across deep. Okay, now on the off-speed shot or the tip, it would be the same concept as the outside set, except reversed. Our left back, if the ball can get hit down the line, is going to stay deep. If the ball cannot be hit down, cannot be hit down the line, she will come up and pick up the off-speed shot. If the ball can be hit down the line 
in the left back stage. Our right front will come in for the tip. If not, the left back will come in for the tip. Okay, once again, we've got everything covered. Our vulnerable spot is in the middle. If we were having trouble, our adjustment would be we would cheat the off blocker in and she would get all tips. So the, the right side blocker, once she saw the ball was set high back, would come immediately into the middle of the court. Now if we do this, our weakness then becomes the sharp ball along the net of which the right back needs to be more aware of. Okay, that would be our basic defense. Now if we ran the rotation defense, which many people do, what would happen is we would start in our normal base defense. When the ball, the middle blocker would go outside, they would set the block. Our left back would immediately come up for the short ball. Our middle back would go to the corner. Our right back would get back and dig this corner. And the right front would come off and dig the hard angle. Take a look at that. Okay, so once we've done that, what the, once again, we've got somebody up for the short ball, we've got the corners dug, but the weakness now is going to be the deep middle. So the adjustment that people would make in this defense is they might not rotate the girl all the way to the corner. She would stay, just get to the hash mark about a third of the way in and cover that ground a little bit more, which then exposes the down the line shot. The next step, as I said before, when the setter was in a 5-1, or the setter's in the front row, we would then start our blocker inside. So go ahead and start inside here. Now we're going back to perimeter defense, and the middle hitter is going to run a slide behind the setter, and this is what we would do. Very similar to the back set, the left front needs to make the move with, her, with the hitter as she comes behind. The middle blocker goes with her if she can. The left back gets deep and digs the line shot. The middle back stays back, maybe shades this way to the corner, to the cross court. Right back is going to move into the angle and the left front is going to come off and take the hard angle or the short ball. Okay. 
So the middle person starts up. Brandy, be the center here. Go. Now, in a rotation defense, the defense would be exactly what they would say. It would be a rotation. So when the blockers go on out, the left back is going to come up for the tip. The middle back is going to go into that corner. And the right back will come to this corner. And the right front will come off and dig the hard angle. Rotation defense versus the back slide. This brings up an interesting point. Since our setter on the back set here is in the back row and is going deeper, we'll need to pass the ball a little bit higher to give her time to come up. Okay, so you can see no matter what defense we're running, no matter what the set is, we have some basic principles. We want to always start in our base position, always be ready. As you notice, we're trying to be stopped and set on defense no matter what. When the ball's being contacted, we are stopped and set. We've done the front, the, the quick set, we've done the front set, we've done the back set. Okay. Very important, every player knows their traffic pattern, where to move, that they learn to be stopped and set and low on defense, and above all, communicate, and everybody's on the same page, works together, and you have no collisions, team is fluid, and, in the, and you play good, solid defense. Thank you very much, I hope this helps you with your team. And just in summary, once again, always have people where you think they're going to hit the ball, Always be ready to make every single play and do what it takes to make your team win by putting your people in the right spot.